the city is replacing 1,200 of these old-fashioned meters with 121 new kiosks where you can pay to park with coins or credit cards. Boy, I figured it out. I, just, I was just glad there was nobody behind me waiting. <laughs> Why? Well, um, oh, I just, you know, it takes me a while to figure things out. <laughs> Not as quick as I used to be. Despite any initial confusion, the new parking meters have some real advantages. As I mentioned, you can use a credit card if you want, and some machines will also take dollars. Mm -hmm. You can also have the system call your cell phone to remind you that you're running out of time. You can buy more time through your credit card and go to any of the kiosks in the system instead of running back to your car to plug the meter. One thing you will have to remember is the number of your space since these new meters are paperless. Yes, every space is marked and you'll have to know the space number that you're parked in. Um, Knowing your credit card number will allow you to retrieve your space number if you had paid with a credit card. A big technological advantage of these new parking meters is that they have cameras and infrared and sonar systems in them that are connected to GPS maps. The parking meter officers have access to those GPS maps in their vehicles so they can always tell where people are parked and whether or not they're paying. The city decided to pursue replacing the traditional meters with new, more user-friendly technology because the current meters are reaching the end of their service life. After considering three different companies, the city council chose Secure Systems Technology, LLC. In addition, we're also looking for a system that would provide no upfront capital costs, something that we can install right away and then uh, recoup the cost as revenues come in. Secure Systems will also collect the fees and do maintenance on the kiosks. Studies show there's an increase in drivers paying to park when they can use their credit cards. We've shown that we should get an increase of at least 20 to 30 percent, if not more, uh, for the credit cards. The new parking meters have a place to store and lock your bike. Soon they will also have public bikes to rent, which is becoming a real trend in other cities around the country. And with all this new technology, the cost to park, it's staying the same, a dollar an hour.